I find words sexy. So don't try to woo me into your bed with your brazen arms or borderline anorexic body. Yeah. I'm not interested in those things. But tell me how you plan to change the world, and you just might win my heart. Words have great power, and if you don't believe me, remember that God was created in a word. I don't want to offend you religious people, but your own Bible says so. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. And if you ask me, God is proof that words can change things. From the Crusades to 9-11 to the war on terrorism that followed, people have died because of a single word that's worked its way inside of them. Words don't just sound nice, they actually change the world. So when you tell me I'm pretty, you actually make me feel very small. I don't want to be pretty, but I do want to be respected. So don't tell me that I'm pretty. Tell me instead that you want to change the world. And maybe your words will work their way inside of me. It used to be that words had power, and that saying something made it law. But now, when our politicians speak, nothing but lies come out of their mouths. I don't want to hear those empty words. When you tell me the world is fucked up, tell me how you plan to change it. Speak with conviction and others will join you. Speak of a world where people are more important than the economy, and maybe that world will come to be. I believe that words have power, but don't try to woo me with love sonnets. When I hear your words, I want to hear the passion behind them, the anger that tells me they are powerful. Don't just tell me you want to change the world. Tell the government. Tell a room full of eager ears. And maybe if enough of us speak out together, the government will be forced to listen. Maybe if we all speak of change, change will happen. I'm not religious, but I do believe that the world was created by words. God may not have spun them, but they shackle us all the same. On the eighth day, Harper said, let there be tar sands. <laughs> and there were. Don't tell me words aren't powerful. An idea not spoken can never affect change. I don't believe in the second coming, but I do believe in Armageddon, and it's closer than we think. So join me in saying no. Join me in saying no. 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 There is nothing more powerful than a word. When armies clash, it only takes a single word. Ceasefire, surrender, for thousands of weapons to be sheathed. There is an army waging war on our land at the moment. It'll only take a word to stop them. What I want to know is will we speak? <laughs>